Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. Guess what? It's casino game night. Yay! I'm so excited to play. Well, it's kind of night. It's 521 and I have a glass of wine. So that means it's night, right? Because I needed to record while it was still light outside. If you want to watch me have some fun, learn some modified casino games, and stuff some cash, then please stay tuned. Okay, so I have my cards and my dice and stuff to color with and my wine. Mmm, good wine. Now, I have chips. And the way I am going to do this is I will just go ahead and take all the chips out. In this envelope, I have, what do I have? 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 5, 65, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 96. So I have 96 dollars in here. The way that I'm going to do casino game night is I am going to play with these chips but when I am done for the evening, I'm going to take the chips and cash them in for real cash. I wanted to play with chips because, you know, it's the casino. 25 is not going to happen. I doubt that's it. I go out. Okay, so I've got my chips. Like I said, I don't need to count these because I'm going to trade them in at the end, so it doesn't matter that these are just sitting here. Let's start playing some games. Let's start with a game of blackjack. Now, I made this challenge, and on here I gave rules, and the reason I have made these and put the rules and everything is these may, just might be, coming your way at 400 subscribers so that you can play casino game with me. But you can play one or two ways. You could play, like if you wanna play a higher amount, you could draw cards and deal and save the amount that you get in a two card hand, in a three card hand, however you would want to do that. Let's put this here for right now because I don't necessarily need it. We can put that up there. And so when you play Blackjack at Casino, you play with um, a group of people usually. Sometimes it's just you and the dealer. But you have your hand, you have the dealer hand. Most casino, the rule is with a um, house, the dealer, he has to hit a soft 17. That's a 17 with an ace. And he stands on a hard 17 or above. I like to do my casino games playing against a dealer, even though there isn't really one here. But you can do it either way. If you want to save more money, then just take like three cards. That's 10, 15. Are you going to hit? 17. Okay, it'd probably be good to stand. So you could write in here. You could write a 1 and a 7 and then color that in and save $17. That's not how I want to play my casino game night because I want to play like I'm at a casino. So I am going to deal. I'm going to deal my hand and the dealer's hand. So the first hand for the dealer goes down. And let's just deal mine face up so you can see them. Oh, I got a blackjack. And then the dealer's goes up. And since I got a blackjack... Sorry, I was betting a dollar. Since I got a blackjack, I'm sorry, I was betting 50 cents. But since I got a blackjack, I make one and a half times my bet back. So I get 50 cents. They're going to equal that and then another quarter. But I'm going to round that up. And so I'm going to win a dollar 50 by beating the dealer. And we're not even going to see his cards because we don't need to. Because I beat the dealer. And now I'm going to color in the good ones out because this doesn't work. These Walmart ones have little pokies in them. Okay. Now let's play one more hand. And this time I'm going to bet 50 cents again. And I get mine a seven. 
And in casinos, they can deal your cards face up or face down, but I want you to see my cards. And then I'm gonna deal mine, a king is 17, and the dealer has a 10. So the strategy here is always to assume that the under card is a 10. But since only a four, three, two, or an ace will help my hand, and the odds are far worse that I'll get a higher card and go bust, I'm gonna stand on my 17. Now let's see what the dealer has. The dealer has a 17, we push, nobody wins or nobody loses. Let's do one more since that was a push. This is my hand. Ooh, I got a 20. Oh, okay, now I can buy insurance to protect my 50 cent bet. It would cost me a quarter and that's betting that the dealer has a blackjack. I'm gonna say no, he doesn't have a blackjack and risk it. Let's see what the dealer had. And a 19, he did not have a blackjack. I get my money matched and I am a winner at blackjack today. So let's take this and put it in. Put it into my binder and I'll exchange it for cash later. I also wanted to mark on here if I won or I lost. So I won and I won. And I am not going to use those Bible markers for this. I want a more detailed, want a more detailed coloring job. I had gotten these S note pins and then I was really disappointed with them because they were so wet. And then I got the Bible markers and then I realized with the S note pins, if you just use the chisel tip, they're not overly wet. So I won both games. Like I said, your other option is to save them and then save the amount that you have on here. Like I could have saved 20, I would have saved $20. If you wanna do a higher bet, then you can write those numbers right in there. The other option is you can do like, if I win, I save a dollar. If I lose, I save $2, whatever is there and within your budget. But that's basically how a blackjack works at the casino. So next I'm gonna play cribbage. So cribbage is a little, it's not a casino game, right? So with this one, it's going to be 50 cents per point. I'm going to go ahead and use the little chips to cash in for money. I am just going to play a, a hand cribbage. I'm going to count it. I'm not going to do any pegging. I'm not going to play any of the counting in the beginning. In cribbage, you get six cards and you put two into the crib. And then there's a one you play at top. And you're trying to make runs and combinations of 15 pairs, triples, that type of thing. So I don't want to get all my cards in a row. So I'm going to do a regular cribbage hand. So one, two, three, my hand. If I decide to play another hand, I could play any of these. And then what you do is you give... Oops, I only do five. Oops, I need one more card each. Boom, 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 boom. So when you're keeping your hands, when you're looking at your hands, you're trying to find combinations of 15 and, um, and runs and four of a kinds and, and, and suits and that type of stuff. So this is one of those hands, ooh, to try to explain to you, it would be difficult. So I could keep this, this here, and then I would have 15, 2, 15, 4, and 5, 6, 7 for my run. Or I could keep these cards, and I would have 15, 2, 15, 4, right? And a pair for 6. So it's best for me to do this. And I'm going to put these two hands in the crib. I'm going to draw, and I get to play with this card as well. Oh, it's a 6. If I'd have kept that 6 in my hand, I would have had 6 points for that. But that's okay. Because now I have these two, this makes 15, two, this makes 15, four, a pair makes six, seven, eight, nine. And I see the error of my ways when I counted this earlier, I counted that as a five. Oh, well, okay, so 15, two, 15, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm saving, let's just do five, round it up. And let's play. One more hand. This six goes for the other hands. Let's grab this one. 
And then we'll shuffle these up. Let's see what I have in this. It's a little different because I can see that, but I have this and we'll throw this card away. You always want to keep a, oops, keep my jack. You always want to keep a jack because if you match the suit, it's knobs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. That's another $5 I am going to save. So I'm saving $10 in the old cribbage. That was fun. That was fun. And what are we at? Oh, we're only at 11 minutes. We're going to try to keep this under 20. And maybe we just don't get to all these games tonight. I don't know. But I would like to teach you how to play some of these games. Okay, oops. I was going to do. So cribbage. I saved five and five. Let's color those in. to see because I'm a bad cribbage player so it'll be interesting to see how many people catch my mistakes at cribbage because I do make them. Texas Hold'em. Let's come back to that one. We may have to learn that next time. It's a little more involved. Let's do some three card poker. All right in my three card poker. This is pretty easy. It's a little more complicated at the casino because you have to have antes and all that kind of stuff. So this is the dealer's hand, this is your hand, and then you're gonna, I'm just gonna color in if I win or lose. And if I win, I am going to save, let's save $3 if I win, and let's save $5 if I lose. Let's do dealer, just like over here, and then me. And this is just a three card poker hand. So the dealer has a pair of kings. I think I'm gonna lose. And I have a jack eight seven, yep. So I am going to write on here. Oops, sorry, you can't see this. I'm gonna write on here what these cards were. D two, king, king, and jack eight seven. So I save $5. because I lost. And then I'll color that in. Let me try one of these Mr. Pen Bible markers and see if that colors better than the Walmart ones. Yes, it does. They still can get pilly, but at least he stays in the line better. This five is going in there already. So one. Okay, let's see what the dealer has. He's over here. Nine, eight, six. He's got nothing. All right. In the casino, he'd have to qualify, but that's okay. Queen, two, three. Three dollars. I win. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's write these down. And I win. And I'm saving three dollars. Yay. Well, that got super sloppy outside the lines. I don't like sloppiness. That's okay because there is not a lot of hands on here. So now I have $8 that I am putting into three card poker. And it's only 16 minutes. So let's play some Ultimate Texas Hold'em. I won't always be going through the games in such detail with you every casino game night because hopefully as things progress, you will learn these games and you won't need as much instruction. All right, Ultimate Texas Hold'em. So this game, again at a casino, it's played differently than you would play it in a tournament. The idea is that I get two cards and the dealer gets two cards, and here are five cards that we both play. We both want to get the best hand we can, it looks like that. We both want to get the best hand we can with using these cards, and it's going to be a five-card hand. So if I wanted to, I can look at my two cards. I have an ace and a nine. If I wanted to bet right now, I could bet three times my bet, and I'm going to bet 50 cents, but I'm not, I, don't want to, I don't want to bet three or four times my bet, not on an ace-nine. Then I'm going to flip over the first two cards, and I'm going to look at them. If I wanted to bet now, I could bet two times the bet. 
I'm going to hope. I don't want to look. I don't want to bet yet. And then I have an ace and a two. So I have a pair of aces, a jack, a nine, and a six. I am going to bet on this hand. And now let's see what the dealer has. The dealer has a pair of fours, a jack, an ace, and a six. So my pair of aces wins. So I I'm going to, I bet this 50 cents and I'm going to get paid 50 cents. Let's put that over there. And let's go ahead. You know what I need is to have two sets of cards. Let me shuffle and I'll be back. Sorry, I forgot how I was going to put this down. I was going to write the cards in the boxes as well on this. This is just have a visual so people can remember. So let's do this. My hand, the dealer's hand, and then one, two, three three, four, five. And this time I'm going to remember to write the cards down. What do I have? I have a 10 and a seven. I'm going to write those down now so I don't forget. So I have a 10. See how I'm writing it right here? And a seven. All righty then. And I do not want to bet yet because I just have a 10 high right now. Let's see what these cards are. Okay, so now 10, I'm only one card away from a straight. Jack 10, 9, 8, 7, but that's kind of a tough bet. So I am not going to bet yet either. All right, so now with that, I have a pair of jacks or a pair of 10s, a pair of 9s, and a queen high. So I am going to go ahead and bet with a dollar. All right. So if the dealer has an eight or a king, he's going to get a straight and beat me. A jack and an ace. All right. So now the dealer has a pair of jacks, a pair of nines, and an ace. And so the dealer wins. They take my money. I don't get to save anything. Zero dollars saved because I lost. Okay. Let's do one more. Okay, we're still gonna do this process the same. I have an ace and a nine. The first three cards, now I have an ace, a pair of aces, a king, jack, and a nine, because there's only five. And what do I have? I have a pair of aces, a pair of kings, and a jack. I'm gonna play. And what's the dealer have? The dealer has a jack and a 10. So the dealer has a pair of kings, a pair of jacks and a 10. So I win because my aces are higher. So I win $3. I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. I cut out the part where I explained that as an alternative method to the three and four times betting and such, you could simply bet th something like $3 if you win, $5 if you lose. I will maybe go over that in a little bit more detail next time. Okay, and I'm gonna take these just to hold my spot. Okay, and this is going to be my win for Ultimate Texas Hold'em. Ultimate Texas Hold'em. We're not gonna play the dice game tonight because this has been a lot of extra instruction. I am working through the details. I think what I'm going to do is color who wins. So I did this one incorrectly. I should have done that one as being the... I'm going to have to work some quirks out because, like I said, I'm having to modify all these games because this is not how you would play in a casino. So this is going to ultimate Texas Hold'em. Let's get our money out of here. And let's put it out. I have my cash tray over there, but that's okay. I have to move my wine. Oh, speaking of my wine. Hmm. Okay, one, two, three, four dollars. So one, two, three, four dollars is going into Ultimate Texas Hold'em. And all of this cash comes out of my variable, the cash money that I've been giving myself in the casino binder. I'm still giving that to myself. I'm just putting some of it away into here. Let's see what Cribbage had. These binders make Nick noise. Cribbage, because it plays different, had more money. So it's getting 15 today. These brand new crispy 10s and a five. So Cribbage is getting 15. And 
and three card poker is getting one, two, three, eight dollars. Five, six, seven, and eight into three card poker. I got lots of money here. Lots of money left to play some later. The thing I am learning is I can bet more on Blackjack and Ultimate. I can bet more money. So five, six, fifty. Let's go with seven in there. I hope that you had fun with your first casino game night with me. If you have any questions about these casino games, oops, I need to put this money back in. If you have any questions about these casino games, please leave a comment below. If you want to subscribe and get me closer to those 400 subscribers so that I can make the casino game night uh, cards or whatever, the, the games read, uh, available to you, then please feel free to subscribe. And as we go through and play this, who knows, I might even be able to optimize them so they're even a bit better for playing as a savings challenge in Casino Game Night. Please, y'all, have a great rest of your weekend. And you know what? Take a day off. You don't need to walk. Bye.